What's up you guys? Welcome back to Troll Lifestyle. It's been a long time since we've got something, but we got something a lot different as you can tell by the thumbnail. We have the brand new, well it's brand new to me, but it's been out for uh, several months that I've been wanting this bad boy. The Desert Buggy uh, XLE 2.0. It's a one-fifth scale buggy. Uh, but before we get on that, I'm going to talk to you guys about the slash I have and some other stuff and then uh, it's not really a review it's just kind of an unboxing kind of thing so hope you guys like this let's check this out all right so we have my monster edition uh slash it is a four by four um that i got from monster energy from the tabs at the time and uh i've had a few uh broken items on here a few things i've had to replace matter of fact I, my brother just ran over ran it over with his car last night because i was racing him and I thought I braked enough behind him, so I turned and I was still ahead of him, so we busted that. So you can see here, the shock is just bent. The uh, It's got steel uh, knuckles on it right here that is bent. Uh, we do have the upgraded battery for it compared to what it was on there before. It was a, a six cell, or was a, it was a lot slower. It wasn't really sealed properly, so there's some water that got inside of it. Just, other than that, we have the Valenian motor and the ESC. Uh, this is a 60 mile an hour rated motor. Um, when I put it on here, I only it didn't feel any different from the original brushed motor, but this one is brushless until I got a new pinging gear in the back and I put that in. So I went from a 12 tooth, I believe, to a 16 tooth, and it is a lot faster. And as you can see, my tires are nearly bald because it's a lot faster. It's four wheel drive, so it picks up very nicely. Um, I recently just replaced the uh, the cover right here in the back, the diff cover, because um, I kind of crashed it and it pulled the arm off and broke that. So now I got to buy a few extra parts for this. So this is gonna be sitting for a little bit. Uh, let's see what else. Just another run around. My son has a Latrax. He's only three, so you know it's gonna get beat up. Uh, we are out driving. Uh, pretty in a pretty open area. It's like a wash. It's got sand, rocks, uh, concrete jumps. It's kind of like a private area. Um, so eventually, it didn't want to go forward. It only wanted to go in reverse. So I got a new motor for it. Uh, this is actually the older one. That's the new one that's in there. And it still did the exact same thing. So I wasn't too sure. So I went to my local hobby shop um, here in town, which these guys are awesome. Like I love these guys. I love their shop. They just take care of me so well. Uh, put the new motor in and it still didn't work properly. So he kept looking at it. He's like, oh, it might be in race mode It was not in race mode And so he's saying he thinks the ESC went bad. I've only had this truck for about six months So now I got to contact Traxxas, but uh, I jumped it off the roof and I broke uh, The axle in the back right here. So I just replaced it with some uh, anodized blue ones Get that cool little look uh, So now I have a spare motor, which is nice. So I have to wait on some parts on that uh, Let's get back to this truck all right, so here we are, it's, uh, smart technology. Uh, I got the battery in there charging right now. I actually got two batteries. Uh, it says 50 plus mile an hour speeds. I think that's with an 8S battery, I think. So I'm guessing it's gonna do about 40 now. So we'll see how this compares to my slash 4x4. Uh, I do wanna get a uh, mile per hour. I forgot what they call it exactly for the uh, remote control. Uh, it's got a real light bar on it that actually works. I'm not too happy bright how really bright that really shows on you know in front of the vehicle i think it's just for looks and of course you know we like those looks so let's get this bad boy open all right and right before we get this open uh this is a workbench i built so this workspace is actually eight feet long so this uh box alone is probably about a good about four feet and it's pretty deep as well so the truck should be fully built and inside of it and then you know the remote stuff will just be tucked on the side and uh here's one of the batteries i have it's 100 bucks i have two of them so one's inside charging and i got the charger as well they also have a dual charger uh this one was a uh, 99 i believe uh they have another one that's a 149 but i'm already at the 1500 dollars, and uh i think that was enough for right now here's the other body style i have the fox body not this one so let's get this bad boy opened up. All right, don't mind me if I'm a little bit slow or sloppy with this. I'm doing this one hand, I don't have my bipod out, all that stuff. All right. 
Oh, this thing's massive. I've already seen this thing in person, uh, but since it's mine, it's kind of special to me. Uh, I'm sure you guys feel the same way, like buying a new car. Uh, let me put you guys down for a second and get this kind of taken apart. All right. It's too big to pull out there, so let's do this. That's the new one, a one-fifth scale. This is my one-tenth scale slash. It's broken. That's the difference. There you guys go. All right, come over here and we will see what's in this box. Got some batteries. Looks like a tool, multi-tool possibly. And we've got a remote in here as well. Alright, so this should be ready to run out of the box. So we'll get a battery put in there and get back to you guys right now. Alright you guys. So I got remotes in the battery, so this should be very simple. We pull these pins, which I can't seem to get a hold on. Okay, there's one. These are kind of tight, probably because they're also new. All right, I just got that off. So all we do is flip up the body, and we got the motor, the ESC, the smart ESC. We got a cooling fan on there. We mount the batteries over here. And we got the straps. It's got the steering. Uh, laser edge uh, box on the shocks. These things are massive, by the way. Like, let's see the difference. So this is my slash. Just remember, this is. Oh wow, they're both broken. I guess I didn't know both the shocks were broken. Um, you know, it's like maybe the size of my finger, and this one's like the size of about four fingers. But it's super clean. Uh, you got the wiring that runs up to this light bar that really does work. Um, you know, a couple of guys in here, a little plastic, and keep it nice and clean. Uh, you can reach the power button right there, as you can see. You can turn it on and off without having to take off the body. And we got this massive rear wing. It's like from the, my finger to my arm. It's huge. These tires are massive as well. So let me grab the battery, and then we'll get shredding. Okay, uh, so I'm still kind of new to this whole RC thing. So this is uh, the slash or the smaller vehicles I'm guessing has this uh, balance on here and mine got shredded so I had to fix it last night. Um, so simple battery connects to all of it, right? So now this one I'm seeing there are double. Like I said, I'm new to this. So you guys in the comments, if you guys have your opinion on it, uh, hit me up, let me know what you know. I need to understand about these. But uh, so I guess that's why I needed to get two batteries. So let's get these in here and then, uh, and my charger, I don't know if my charger just has a problem, but it keeps saying the, uh, the balance support is too high, which I'm not understanding why it's saying that or what that means. And I don't know, it's supposed to be a smart charger. You're supposed to do just simply connect it, hit start, and it's supposed to work and do everything itself. So I have to, uh, look into that, but let's get this going. Oh, the batteries are in there. Turn it on. The fan goes. I don't know what it's doing exactly. Light bar is on. Things dope, but it's actually pretty bright. Like, let me see. Turn off my shop lights real quick. Like that's pretty bright, and it's still daylight outside, so that's pretty cool. Like, just look how bitchin' that looks. All right, let's get this on the road. All right, let's uh, try to get this thing out there. Oh, it's heavy. All right. Get the labor on. This is my first drive. Let's see how this goes. Alright, gotta figure this out first. Oh, I got it. Oh, there we go.
Don't go in front of it. Izzy, you want to move? Thank you. The steering feels very uh, hard. Like it doesn't, it doesn't break very well. Like that's full brake. That's full turn. Thank you.